once a year, Coffs Harbour really comes alive. We're in the centre of the town, the rally show, and it is fantastic. The atmosphere is great. The locals are here supporting it. Not only is it round five of our East Coast Boulevard's Australian Rally Championship, but it is round ten of the World Rally Championship. Our teams will compete over 300 kilometres of the toughest roads in the country. And the cool thing about our sport is our ARC crews compete on the exact same roads as the world's best. Great crowd, great weather and the world's best rally drivers in the one place at one time. It's fantastic. It's going to be an awesome weekend. Of course, our rally's already kicked off. We've done the Armour Hall Power Stage. Didn't go your no, way, I've got to no. say. It wasn't the best start for you. Well, the Power Stage was good because we weren't there. <laughs> uh, the qualifying was, uh, was all my fault. I, uh, it was a, it was a, pace, a rare pace note error for me. I, um, I didn't uh, note a, a particular hump uh, the way I should have. And, uh, you know, I, I live and learn. But, you know, the car's fine. And we, we fortunately got away with a spin into the trees. And hopefully uh, it'll be all right tomorrow. Brendan Reeves, plenty of autographs going on, mate, and what a start for you. It doesn't get any better, really, does it? Yeah, great start, Dino, winning the power stage, and Scott having problems with his spin, so brings it level pegging, and this is a rally where last year we were really shone, and we started to do those good times. We had the reliability of the Mazda, so this year we're looking to really step it up and have that great fight that we always want with Scott. Big Pat, I know you've had some trouble, but you bought a spare car this weekend, mate. Yeah, just in case we get stuck this weekend, we thought we'd bring another one. But, uh, no, we've got a giveaway from uh, our sponsors from Repco and Penrite. So uh, we'll give it away over the weekend and uh, to someone. So that should be lots of fun. A fantastic, fantastic atmosphere here. You've even got the Repco Rally team lollies you're giving out. You know what they say about people giving lollies out at uh, these sorts of things? Yeah, this is all Bernie's idea. So uh, <laughs> the boiled lollies are always a good thing. But, uh, no, look, they keep the energy level up for me in the car as well. So I think we bought a 1,000 and the boys at the service park have eaten most of them. So, But, uh, no, it's, it's all good for the fans. As you can see, it's uh, you know it's such a, a big environment here in Coffs, which is great every year. So we just like to do a couple of little bits and pieces that are a little bit different. But, um, yeah, I can't wait. Looking forward to it. It's one of those rallies we just want to finish because it's so close to home. And This is an event where consistency could pay off. You play your cards right, you could be right at the right end at the right time. Yeah, yeah, it's so true, Dino. Like, you know, that's that's my whole thought for the whole weekend is let's just suck it and see tomorrow, slightly push a bit harder and, and just see what happens. Tell us what is special about this car. It's a brand new build. It's taken a little while to get there. It's a pretty mean machine, isn't it? It is, yeah. There's very few standard parts on the car apart from the engine where that's pretty much as it rolls off the factory floor um, so everything took a while to get to fit right and get all the numbers accurate so I think there's no reason why it shouldn't be just quick out of the blocks. How does it feel to drive because it's probably the most serious rally slash race car you've ever been in that's going to have to adapt to a driving style. How did it feel this morning to get the smile on your face I'm sure? Definitely yeah um, jumps really well enough power at the moment I'm sure <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we'll search for yeah. more soon um, but look it's well balanced gets grip does everything right <laughs>